Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. I'm here in Germany at the facility and demo rooms of this very interesting company called Cinemic. And the reason why I say they are interesting is because they are basically a hardware modification company who also, by the way, does custom installation, the full treatment and things like that. But the hardware modification side of things is what interests me most because their belief is that many of the AV equipment that you have purchased off the rack from manufacturers, they could be improved on many levels because of poor quality component that is used on the main board and circuitry because obviously all AV equipment are mass produced products and the manufacturers have to produce them to a certain manufacturing tolerance and therefore cost is always at the top of their mind and sometimes they just cannot afford to use the best components, which is where Cinemic actually comes in. So what they do is that they analyze the hardware that the manufacturers have put out. Maybe it has a subpar transistor, maybe they have a subpar power supply, maybe they have a subpar capacitor, and they go in and they actually change it for a better quality component. Now, obviously the cost is not cheap. I've actually looked at this guy, Cinemic himself, performing the art of modifying the components. First of all, you have to understand that the schematics of the hardware and the electronics are not obviously openly published by these manufacturers because, you know, it's their IP. So what Cinemic has to do is to do some sort of reverse engineering, basically trial and error, taking one component out, putting it in, listening many times or watching a certain film many times and then having to repeat the process for many, many different components. And the amount of skill that this guy has demonstrated the amount of skill and wizardry is just mind-blowing. We're talking about a chip or a transistor or an electrical component that looks basically like a speckle of dust or a spot of glitter and it is so small that I just cannot imagine. Obviously he has a magnifying glass there but he seldom even use it. He actually did a live demonstration of the modification of an OPPO 203 live on the spot and the amount of skill that he actually demonstrated is just mind-blowing. It's just totally out of this world. Now I will give him the title of the heart surgeon of the AV industry and certainly when he showed us the results after modification of the OPPO 203, the noise level went from quite a high level. When the player is not even switched on, it has already such a high noise level. And after Cinemac does his modification, the noise level dropped to such a low level. Now, the thing is, you have to understand whether this lower noise fall actually translates to a better picture and sound quality is another matter but certainly from the measurement side of things the noise floor is certainly lowered quite a lot and the equipment that Cinemic actually modifies include we saw the OPPO 203 and 205 players we saw the Sony projectors, the VW5000, and also the VW760 4K laser projectors, they have been modified. They have modified the Marans 8805 receiver as well. And I think there are a lot of things that they can actually do, but I think at the end of the day, it's basically manpower and resources. You know, Cinemic, he has limited time and he has to do reverse engineering, basically trial and error. 
and trying to put in components and listening to it and see whether there's any discernible improvement. And they can modify all these components and clearly the price is not cheap. Let's say if manufacturers wanted to do this on this level, then naturally the cost of the products would spiral which means that you know no one would actually be willing to buy this equipment and the manufacturer would make a loss and it would be everyone's loss. So I think what Cinemac offers here is an extremely appealing proposition for those of you out there who wants the reassurance that the noise floor is the lowest, reassurance that the component that is actually put in into your AV kit is of the highest level possible. And on the OPPO 203 and the OPPO 205, there are three levels of modifications with increasing price points. For the basic level, we're talking at least 1,000 euros. That includes some modification of the power supply and basic modifications. And then the next level would be level two modification by Cinemic on the OPPO 203 or 205. And that will include further modification in addition to the power supply, further modification of SMD or surface mounted devices and more basically mainboard modification and uh, level 2 modifications will cost 2,500 euros and there's the reference or ultimate level modifications which will include changing the main clock to reduce jitter even further and more SMD modifications and that will cost you 5,500 euros. Clearly this is not cheap but you are talking about an artisan here, you are paying for an art form. Now obviously you know I'm talking in very subjective terms now uh, but you know I'm going to tell you about the results of my demonstration of Cinemax modification. So the first demonstration that we went to was basically a VW5000 which was projected on a 180 inch screen and obviously the projector is the brightest home cinema projector at this moment in time and it produced enough light output and we did comparison between the modified OPPO 205 to the highest level which is the full 5500 euro modifications and an unmodded OPPO 205 that was just basically unboxed fresh out of the box and I probably should have filmed an unboxing video in the dark but I didn't do that. So we did a comparison one after another on a VW5000 which was already modded but you know the key comparison is between the modded OPPO 205 versus the unmodded fresh out of the box one and we painstakingly made sure that the settings are all neutral on the OPPO players and you know on the audio level you can immediately tell a discernible difference. We played The Greatest Showman, God knows how many times we played the clip throughout the day because we were trying to hear the difference between modded and modded, you know modded projector versus unmodded projector and things like that. But the scene where Jenny Lin had her big song is basically the demo sequence of choice and the dynamics that came through that that scene on the modded OPPO 205 is just mind-blowing. Preceding the performance, you know, they were obviously mingling in a crowd and things like that. And you can feel the room basically. You can actually catch the whisper and you know just the general ambience of the room give you that sort of emotional connection of uncertainty because no one really knows what to expect of her performance. And once she started singing and again you know it's just a more open more dynamic a fuller sound with a tighter bass that actually gives you that sort of oomph that the unmodded OPPO 205 didn't actually give you and on the demonstration of the Cinemic OPPO 205 tune edition I was getting goosebumps and it's just a sensational experience on an audio level. The level of detail and clarity is just astounding. On the video front, I'm less convinced that there is a perceptible difference, but you know, certainly on the audio level, I can hear 
a discernible and perceptible difference between the modern and unmodern. And being the skeptical being that I am, and I have my colleague David McKenzie with me as well, we are probably two of the most skeptical bastards on this world. And you know, we try our best to test the system, to do A-B comparisons, to do screenshots, play test patterns and things like that. And Cinemark has been extremely accommodating and that's how confident they are in their product. They have been extremely accommodating in allowing us to do all these tests. And in the end, my first and foremost conclusion is that on the audio front, if you are that sort of person who spends money on power conditioners, on speaker cables, and you want the best source possible from your Oppo 203 or 205. Or let's say, you know, if you have a Maran's receiver, the 8805, then I think, and obviously, if money is not really that big of a concern for you, if you are pursuing perfection, then I think, you know, you deserve at the very least to visit Cinemike's demo room here in Germany and let him explain to you their art form and then let his excellent team show you the results of their work and I think that you'll be suitably impressed. Now, after The Greatest Showman, we also were treated to a demonstration of a Hans Zimmer Live in Prague concert and there was a section where the music got extremely loud during a soundtrack of Pirates of the Caribbean and on the unmodded Oppo 205, it just sounded extremely harsh to the point of being painful, like all the instruments are being muddled together. They are all blending together to produce this really shrill sound that actually just pierces my eardrum and I couldn't wait for it to stop. But on the modded Oppo 205, what I got was a totally different experience in that, you know, I could distinctly hear different instruments throughout the entire orchestra beating away, even though the volume was driven to even above reference level. I, seriously, my eardrums never have taken such abuse in my life. But it's all worth it. It's all entirely worth it because, you know, what I got was a sensational, multi-layered oral experience, not oral, but oral uh, experience, in a sense that, you know, you felt a connection to the performance on screen. And there is unmistakable difference, and I'm willing to put my credibility on the line, and I invite you to come around to Cinemax installations and their demonstration rooms to have a listen yourself. And I believe that you'll be presently surprised if you can swallow the cost, if the cost is not a problem for you. This is Vincent Thiel here. Uh, reporting from Germany. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.